What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage and speculation video. Following up from yesterday's Korra Korra leaks that surprisingly revealed Mega Metagross, more leaks have surfaced on the internet today, with a lot of information on what's to come in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. One of the biggest things revealed in this edition of Koro Koro revolves around important characters like gym leaders in the Elite Four. Their redesigned artwork is shown in the scan along with each of their signature Pokemon. Roxanne with their Nose Pass, Brawly with his Makuhita, Watson with his Magneton, Flannery with their Torkoal, and Norman with his Slay King. None of their aces appear to change and we can expect the same for the other three gym leaders, but there's still a possibility that they might change. This scan with the Elite Four is where it gets interesting. It's the same as the Gym Leader page with their updated designs and signature Pokemon by them, but wait, this man has no nose. This scan with the Elite Four is where it gets interesting. It's the same as the Gym Leader page with their updated designs and signature Pokemon by them, but there's actually a lot more to this. First off, Shifter replaces Absol as Sydney's new signature Pokemon, and Dusk Noir replaces Phoebe's Dusclops as her new signature Pokemon. As we read from yesterday's scan, there will be a good amount of additions to the Hoenn Pokedex to include Pokemon from other regions, like Evolutions and Pre-Evolutions, and Dusk Noir is one. But there's more. We know Steven possesses a Mega Keystone and has the power of Mega Evolution as seen by his Mega Metagross. Similarly, if you look carefully at the two Elite Four members in the scan, you'll notice that they also appear to carry a Mega Keystone. Sydney is wearing a bracelet which has what appears to be a Keystone on it. Sydney's original image from Ruby and Sapphire doesn't show him wearing this bracelet. Usually additions like this are made for a reason, like how Maxie is wearing glasses and Archie is wearing a chain. In the same way, comparing Phoebe's artwork to her original artwork, you'll notice that she used to wear an anklet which is covered by text in her redesign. The Pokemon company always tries to hide hints like these, so it makes sense how the text was coincidentally placed there. But because of this, it's speculated that each member of the Elite Four may carry a Mega Pokemon on their team, likely their ace. If this proves to be true, then that could mean the confirmation of Mega Shifter and Mega Dusk Noir. But keep in mind, it's just speculation, and maybe Sydney's just simply wearing a watch to make sure he doesn't miss his mom's curfew. As you may have seen, the Pokedex screen of this game is a remake of the original design from Ruby and Sapphire, but the Pokedex item itself is made to resemble the Game Boy Advance, which was the console Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire came out on. A first look at Professor Birch can be seen here. His official artwork has him running like how you meet him at the beginning of the game, and this screenshot shows you interacting with him in his lab, probably after you save him with your starter Pokemon. There's also information on Air Rune, the secret base expert in this image, but it's essentially everything the Pokemon company has revealed so far. But no Notice how they emphasize his Flygon? It's like there really is an importance to him using a Flygon. I didn't want to have to do this, but look, it's Pikachu. There's not much information on this Pikachu apocalypse, but one thing we do know is that it's related to the Pokemon contest. We already knew they were returning from a few days ago when secret bases were revealed. A Sableye could be seen holding the Berry Blunder, which is used to make Pokeblocks for Pokemon contests, and a glass ornament could be seen in this secret base screenshot, which is a decoration that can only be obtained after completing the 5 Pokemon contest categories. But moving back to the Pikachus, these 5 different outfits seem to represent the 5 Pokemon categories. Tough cool, beauty, smart, and cute. Seeing how these five are dressed in Pokemon Ami, it's speculated that you can dress your Pokemon up for the Pokemon contest through Pokemon Ami. I was actually a really big fan of the Pokemon contest in the original games, and it's gonna be really interesting to see what additions they give it and how Mega Evolutions will play a part in it. But that covers everything leaked so far in this month's Koro Koro. The biggest news out of this is the possibility that the Elite Four may all be able to trigger Mega Evolution. It's an addition I'm really hoping for. But let me know what you guys think about each member of the Elite Four possibly carrying a Mega Pokemon in the comments below. There's going to be a more in-depth video on this Elite Four speculation very soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.